Boris QT of I and say Tak Theresa May is a failure who must fire Boris save the country. The demand comes after the Prime Minister failed to sack Pride Patel who later resigned under extreme pressure and amid fresh calls for the Foreign Secretary to be shown the door. The audience member said the Prime Minister has failed to lead the country. She had one job to prove herself and that was to fire Pride Patel and then Pride Patel had to resign now we have a government that is led by a person who cannot even fire someone who has broken the ministerial code. There is still a chance for her to redeem herself by firing Boris. If that does not happen, trust me, she has until Christmas and the government will fall, she has to redeem herself. International Development Secretary, Mrs. Patel, was hauled back from a ministerial trip to Africa after it was revealed she had repeatedly misled the government about the nature of her trip to Israel. It was revealed that she took several meetings while supposedly on holiday in Israel, including one with Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Mr. Johnson has landed himself in hot water after being accused of putting a British citizen, jailed by Iran, at risk of serving a longer sentence. Nazanin Sagari Radcliffe could face another five years in an Iranian prison after fresh spying charges were brought against the mother. The foreign secretary appeared to say that she was in Iran teaching journalism despite the government and her family insisting that she was on holiday. Speaking on Question Time journalist Charles Moore said, Clearly Boris Johnson made a mistake, but I would ask people to think about who is really at the bottom of all this, and the answer is the Iranian government. The foreign secretary was accused of refusing to apologize after he appeared in the House of Commons to claim his comments were taken out of context. Mr. Johnson said, I'm sorry if any words of mine have been taken out of context and misconstrued to cause anxiety to Nazimnin's family. Another audience member claimed Mr. Johnson had a chance to correct his statement as no one is infallible, but the problem is the cover-up. He said, the problem is you are actually looking at somebody's life at stake here, you cannot have that kind of hubris. You have to say I messed up, I got my facts wrong she was not there for that reason just come out and say that. Senior Labour MP Stella Creasy, the person who is supposed to be responsible for British citizens abroad is the one who has condemned her to another five years in jail. That is unforgivable, it is utterly unforgivable. His Tory colleague Justine Greening said, I think Boris clearly said something that simply was not correct. He went to Parliament the next day to make sure he set the record straight he has spoken to the Iranian foreign minister who has confirmed it had nothing to do with the subsequent steps the Iranian government took.